Yeah. Who's doing the speaking first? Yeah, I really, I really Sarah. Sarah. Like Microphone. It needs to be with you because. Is it going right now? And actually, yes, it's going, and that's the microphone part. Okay. So you can just pass the microphone around. And okay. How come no other group? It'll work. Hey. Down here, you don't have to. No other group had to do this. But I don't think anybody's watching. Is people watching on the computer? No, there's nobody else. Yeah. Good. So do it right here. Not even Mrs. Keller is here right now. Thank you. She's got another uh, thing she has to be doing, and she's not back to the office yet. Okay. We're okay with the <laughs> All right, everyone. Okay, so on the report, it says the things recording right now. Yeah, everybody just everybody brainstorm. And I'm serious. 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 I'm no. <laughs> Just Second thing. Did everybody do a brainstorm? Yes. Give them the point. Did you say the rubric after you opened it from Edmodo? No. Should you? Yes. Should you save a blank one? Yes. Are you going to have more than one rubric to save today? Yes. Should you make a folder to stick them in so that they're all in the same big place? Oh my goodness. Oh, I just saw the comments. I already sent like two of them to you. I already sent two of them. I know. Oh. But you did it wrong. Oh, wow. Make a folder. I didn't even stand over there. Whether it's inside just of your physical science system. folder in your garage <laughs> or whether it's on your desktop, not my business. If you put all your files oh, on your goodness. desktop, this thing is probably going to lose them sooner or later. You're going to want it in your documents folder. So if you haven't made a physical science folder inside of your My Documents, you should. Inside of your physical science folder, you should make a playground motion folder. Inside your playground motion folder, you should put this I don't think I've done any. You should download it and do a save as, go all the way to the left side, put blank and an underscore to the left side, and then you'll always know which one of these stupid rubrics is my blank one. Because it says blank on it. How brilliant is that? I don't know. I'm just kidding. I didn't get it. Okay, though. Should you be messing around on your computer right now instead of back no. there saying I didn't get any of that? Messing what, you what, you what computer? Messing around on the computer. Should you be doing this instead of saying I didn't get that? No. <laughs> I didn't know we were supposed to. Alright. Can we go? I didn't do that. I'm not going. Because I, I forgot about it. No. That's what you gotta do. Hey, you have to say your name. So you gotta go by myself, Sierra. No, you guys say your own name. I'm Sierra. I'm Sierra. I'm Sierra. I'm Sierra. No last name. Two. Two. Yeah. Just kidding. What? I almost broke the desk. Oh, yeah, sure you did. She's not reading her name. No, no, no. I'm Sierra. I'm Anna. I'm a Sierra. In the center.
No, Guys, my floor burn hurts really, really, really bad. Whoa, what'd you do? Floor burn. <laughs> I don't know. What? What? I know it. It's like no. Started. We were supposed to be done with this by now. Yeah, we could have been done. Oh, I got this. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll probably break it. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Let it watch our turn. Okay. Are we ready to move on now? Yeah. Okay. Let's do this again. Cute little jetpack. You're talking to a thing that makes internet. Yeah. I got this one. What? It is. It's cute. It's like whoosh. Tag on. Try and find another one for the girls. We gotta move. We gotta go. You guys already killed. 15 minutes. 13. 15. So I clicked on the other one. Guys, how do I get out of this? Why did you do that? I'm on you. What's after the first cover page? Safety. Some safety on oh, the merry-go-round would be <laughs> never sit somewhere where you're uh, gonna fall. <laughs> <laughs> Who came up with these rules? This is proficient. Why is it in there? No, it's attached to it. Why? I don't know. Bulldog colors. Why does this one I don't know. I'm just going to this. Our presentation in that minute? Three. Oh, when you get to go one, zero, it's going to be like, shh. 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 Presentation starts. Get your jump ready. Hello, everyone. Today, our playground equipment that we researched was the merry-go-round. My name is Sierra. I'm Lana. I'm Brecken. <laughs> Some safety for the merry-go-round would be, although a merry-go-round is fun and all, you have to make sure you are careful. Some safety concerns could be never sit somewhere where you could fall, 
Do not push someone fast enough so that they fall off. And don't shove other people off. And don't jerk the merry-go-round, causing someone to fall over. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh. We just started a presentation. You missed maybe 30 seconds. Time. Kind of more. The merry-go-round is a wheel and axle. A wheel and axle is two parts rotate together in which a force is transferred from one to another. It's like a globe or a basketball on a finger. The wheel spins on the axle. Okay, the circumference for the big one is 352 and 66 hundredths inches. And for the little one, it was 227 and 45 hundredths inches. And the formula that we got that with was, um, it's, well, it's the distance around the circle, and it's 2 times pi times the radius. The diameter of the merry-go-round, the big one, is 112 and 5 16 inches. The small merry-go-round is 72 and 7 16, inch, 7 16 inches. And the formula for the diameter is um, 2 times the radius, if you know the radius already. The radius. For the big merry-go-round, it was 56, 4 and 25 inches. Oh, 4 25 inches. The small one is 36 and 1 5 inches. Oh, and the way that we got the radius was from the diameter divided by 2. Okay, the force is a push or an acceleration. And in this case, it's a push or a pull. And we used the same amount of the push so we could compare them equally for our experiment. Gravity creates an outward pull on your body, and it pulls towards the outside of the merry-go-round. Um, the force that helps make it move is gravity, because as you're spinning it, the gravity will go and take it with it. Um, with the rotations per minute, um, we use the, a person of the same weight, so we just use the same person on both merry-go-rounds. And on the big merry-go-round, we got 16 RPMs, which is ro rotations per minute. And for the small one, we got 24 RPMs. Our experiment was is that we went outside and we each rode both of the merry-go-rounds and then we found that the smaller one will go faster and it'll go about as twice as fast and the gravity pulls you outward and that you push or pull to make it move. If you get a 27 on this, don't you want to do it a second time? Yeah. If you get an 85, then you can decide. But if you get a 27, that's not much of a decision. You kind of have to do it over. Guys, I clicked something. What did you do? I don't know. Got it. Questions? Any questions? Wasn't there something in your rubric about percents? Yeah. Did they talk about percents? They said one was faster, but they didn't say a percent, did they? Yeah. I almost did. 
Oh, I better quit moving this. I took, I don't know, I took the 24 times, like, 0.66, like, 7. Are you supposed to times it? No. But that's about 16. So I say about 66 percent. Is something on here about how to get it? It's like the original number to find the Recording us. Did they get the point for recording the video? Yes. Yes. Did they do a brainstorm? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Give them the point for the brainstorm. What other questions do you have about the rubric? What? Ask me what I'll do. Oh, yeah. Don't say that out loud. There's 66. There is. Don't say it out loud. Ask it people what other questions they have. 66% change? Sure. 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 Did you do your math and show your work? I attempted to. I'm kind of big on do the math and show the work. Pretty sure I did it wrong. Do you need help with that? If only you knew somebody that was working on their PhD in math. They would think this is really easy. Who's that? Hmm. Yeah, just pretend you don't know it's Mrs. Keller, and I didn't point at her because my fingers were off the camera, so she doesn't know I pointed at her. She knew I was talking about her. Oh, okay. Hey, I got a question. Yeah. How do you get the RPMs? How do you what? How do you what? Get the RPMs. How do you get the RPMs? Okay. We we put Lana on the outside of it, and every time she went by Sierra, we counted one, and we did that for a minute. At the same speed. Same speed on both of them. And the same, same force. How can you get the same speed? Does that work? You should have force. Well, you should, did you use a speedometer on your phone? Yeah. <laughs> what does the same force mean? And you changed from RPMs to speed. So hang on to that. I'm, we're going to come back to you. What does the same mean? Yeah. Equal amount. Equal amount of what? Force. Okay, and you guys were pushing the merry-go-round, so yeah. you used an equal amount of force for a minute. Yeah. Wait, wait, we didn't do it for a while, so just kind of F-A-T-I-G-U-E. Fatigue. Isn't that something like throw up or something? No, that means you're like nope. tired or something. Oh, yeah, that means so you're hard. tired or something. So if you put out the same amount of effort for a whole minute, is it really going to be the same? Yeah. Or are you going to get tired and you think it's the same, but it's really not because you're tired? Like a lot of force. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you didn't get tired because you didn't use a lot of force? Not as much as possible. <laughs> Can you measure if your speed was the same for a whole minute? Yeah. Yes. And, and let's go to his question. How did you get a speed? Or did you get a speed? You didn't get a speed. Should you have gotten a speed? <laughs> Can you talk about how fast a merry-go-round is going without using RPMs or speed? Yeah. Can you talk about the amount of force? Oh, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you hear the word centripetal force and centrifugal force? You read about them, but you didn't put them in your presentation. Oh, man. <laughs> That's good science, though, isn't it? Where you know that happens, and then you have to explain it. And you were even the one on the merry-go-round. Yeah. So you got to feel those forces. I was not right. But you have been. You were before. When I was a little kid. Well, actually, we put yes. it on there, but she's like, I'm sick. I'm getting up. It made me dizzy. So she's bossy, so you let her off the hook? <laughs> yeah. No. Is that what I'm hearing? Uh-huh. We stuck. We just so, show of hands, how many of you gave them more than a 50%? Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mrs. Keller. How about after the questions that I asked? How many of you gave them more than a 75%? I gave them. Oh, right. We're back. Other than that. 
guess who's doing it over? No. This is you're gonna put a sixty something in a grade book? No. Yeah. So, so you're gonna do it over. To like add some more slides on there. Wait a second. Hey, freshman. Freshman. If I'm up in front and talking, you're supposed to be learning. Just because I'm talking to them doesn't mean you can't learn from it. How many things did you and I question about their project? Everything. Well, just like the speed and the how Everything. you knew it. And the percent and the RPMs. And did you do the math for the speed and the percent and the RPMs? And what kind of math is that? And what about those two words that I just used that you looked up but didn't say in your presentation? Then something about the fours? Yeah, yeah, something like that. And did I see sources on this presentation? Yes. What would be considered as sources? Did I see a resources page at the very end? Yes. In APA format? Yes. And all the websites and books and stuff that you used is cited there? You just know everything? You didn't look anything up? We used our phone to your resource. Did you look it up on the internet? No. No, using your calculator on your phone isn't. Using your timer on your phone isn't. You guys are giving me some great information on data. Um, yeah. Now, wait a second, wait a second. I said you're supposed to be learning. What should you be learning about their project? How much of what I just talked to them about applies to your project? <laughs> What's APA format, she says, on presentation day? Mrs. Keller just about choked. She's eating over here. She started laughing. What are you eating? Why are we asking about APA format on presentation day? What's Second presentation day. What's APA? Yeah. Oh, Lord. Hmm. Yes, I know. And if I stand up here and say it, and you guys sit there and talk like you are now, one, two, three, four, five, how much good does it do for me to stand up here and say stuff? Yeah. It doesn't do any good for me to stand up here and say stuff. You have to go do stuff, and then you remember it. Because guess who remembered looking up those words as soon as I said them? And if she had put them in here and had to explain them to the other two because she's the one that looked them up, she would have known. Right off the top of her head, it would just be right in there and she could use it whenever she wanted. She did a right thing. She did a good thing. She just did half of a good thing and not all of a good thing. Okay? Now, no, centripetal and centrifugal. Centrifugal and centrifugal. Now, how many of you just took notes? I did. Did you write anything down? You have notes on your computer, right? You just have to go turn that little thing on. And you can just type your brains out? <laughs> so, we can move on. Miss Keller, do you have, did you see anything that I missed in that presentation? I did not. Okay. I didn't want to leave you out. No, thank you. I'm pretty good at hammering on people and making them feel bad. Thank you. Thank you. you talked about... How they're standing and eye contacts while they're giving their presentation? Um, no. I knew that. I didn't. I didn't plan on doing. Do I have to? They weren't chewing gum, which was good. I, I didn't see any. Ooh, like, I didn't mention like, that. I, I forgot. Doing. Oh, that's good. That's good. I got chewed out because you guys were chewing gum during your presentations the other day. Who chewed you out? Well, my mom, for one. Uh, How does your mom? Know? Wait, your mom was watching. That older couple that was sitting together side by side on one computer? That's my mom and dad. Brookings. I knew that. That's funny. 
Yeah, they're both teachers from way back. Uh, and my dad was superintendent. Okay, Question. is a tape measure considered a resource? You do not need to cite a tape measure. <laughs> but if you do stuff, you should write a procedure for what you did, right? Yeah. And you should write down that you measured it with a tape measure? And if we flip through their slides here, wait one second. If we flip through their slides here, we're going to find a naughty word. Inches. How many inches are there in science? None. None. There are none inches in science. None inches. None inches. No, what if what if the do you give you inches? What should it be? There are none feet in science either, unless you're doing anatomy. Meters and centimeters and millimeters and kilometers. Those are like the same thing. They're similar. They're not the same. Yes. Wait a minute. All science has to be replicatable. Which is that? Who uses inches? On the whole planet. And who else? China. No, China uses... Everybody else uses meters, kilometers, centimeters. Okay? How many kilometers are in an inch? It's Either a whole bunch or not very many. One of them, too, I forget. A whole bunch. No, wait, not very many. No? Because an inch is like, okay. Somebody said it in here right off the top of their head the other day. An inch is how long in centimeters? Five. No? 2.54. 2.54. Very good. An inch is 2.54 centimeters. We have to convert something from one system to another. You should show your work. Because how are you going to prove that you didn't do it wrong if you don't show me that you did it right? Take a picture of you typing it in the computer. No, 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 no. Show your work. Do the math. Do a conversion. Should we let these guys off the hook and pick somebody else to come up front and then yeah. hack on them for 20 minutes? Yeah! You guys okay? You know what you have to fix and how to get an A? That's what this is all about. This is all about knowing how to get an A. Be quick. Who's next? And why don't you have a thumb drive in your computer already? Who's going after that? Well, we said we could go last. You guys already went. Who's leaving early? I'm not. But you already went. Put her on there. I just have a word document. Are you going to use it? Are you going to put it on the wall? Okay. You don't have to. You can put it on the wall and then it's giant. Okay. Are you done? Yeah, you're done. So we don't have very many people left to go, do we? Three? One, two, three. Four. And who are you with? Justine and, and Jesse. Can you just do it next time? Hey, Maybe. Okay, so I got the APA thing. That's like the only website I use. This is middle school now. Oh, nice. <laughs> so is that all I have to do? Yeah. Are you gonna come if you only use one website, you're done. <laughs> I know. I don't want to be on camera. It's like wedding that way. Okay, I'm going to go with Jesse. Okay, I'm going to go with Will you stop it? Don't do it. Oh, do I have to like, Mr. Matt? taught me everything I know about math, so I don't have to cite him, do I? Because <laughs> I used a lot of math here. Are you guys up? You guys ready to go? No, you said we were going last. Let's go. Do you need anything? Oh, yours is on that one already. Okay. We'll get rid of that. That's the microphone part. You don't have to hold it up by your face, but...
anywhere near your belly will be fine. Megan, is it just you two? Yeah. I don't want to be on camera. Oh. Camera hates me. I'm ugly. I'll tell you a fact. Secrets are lies. <laughs> there is no secret. I love that. Wow, you have a lot of stuff. I love that. Dear Lana. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you for that. That was that was great. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I love that. PowerPoint with that. Secrets are lies. Oh shoot, I'm not ready to do this. Not if they're not facts. I got this. I got this. I got this. Okay. Uh, Playground Physics Teeter Totter by Megan and Wakia. Yeah, the teeters. <laughs> okay. For, for thought, put yourself in a situation. If you were sitting on a teeter totter and your friend is with your friend who is bigger than you, then yeah, then you are. How would you make the teeter totter balanced? How would you wait? No, think about it for a little bit and then raise your hand if you think you know the answer. And don't be mad if like you don't like understand it right away or if you like don't get the right answer. Emily? Uh, the, the person that's bigger would have to scoot in. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, Do we get food now? Basic physics. The middle of the teeter totter is called the fulcrum. <laughs> this supports the teeter totter. Your goal on a teeter totter is to keep it balanced. Effect is F4 is the force that you apply onto the teeter-totter, a.k.a. your weight, and your weight is called the center of the mass. Then you need, to, you need the distance from the fulcrum to the point where you are sitting. To figure out where the other person needs to sit, you use the equations Fe times DE equals FR times DR. FE stands for your weight. DE stands for the distance you are sitting from the fulcrum, the middle. Uh, FR stands for the other person's weight. DR is the distance that the other person is sitting, but since we don't know that we replace it with X. Okay. Using algebra... Whoa, I went too far. How did I go? Okay, using algebra to solve the equation. So basically, this is also up on the board over here if you can't really see it. And so like, this is what Mr. Schneider helped me on. And I'll go on this one. And basically, so you have your equation, feed e equals feed r, further. And okay, so like your weight, is 100 pounds, and then your uh, distance from the fulcrum is 2 meters, and then this is the other person's weight, and then x, which is what we're trying to find, and that's the distance from where they are sitting to the middle. And so basically to get x by itself, we divide by 200 pounds, and then the pounds cancel off, and so we have x by itself, and then, you know, we get one meter for the answer. So that's basically, like, how you would undo the equation to get x by itself. Okay. <laughs> okay. We are instructed to make a sketch of the teeter-totter with two people sitting on the end of, and sitting on it and one of them being bigger than the other. In Megan's drawing, she had a 120-pound girl sitting on, <laughs> sitting closer to the end and a 200-pound guy sitting closer to the middle. She also included the length of the teeter-totter, 10 feet and 7 inches, and the width of the teeter-totter, 9, 9 and 1 fourth inches. All right. Diagram explaining scientific terms and abbreviations. Okay, so 
you go over here, and this is pretty much explaining where everything goes on the teeter-totter from your equation. So the way you apply it is right here, and that's FE, and the distance from where you are sitting, which is right here to the middle, and that's distance from where are you sitting, to fulcrum, which is DE. And then weight of the other person applies is FR over there. And then the distance from where are they sitting, where they are sitting to the middle is from the fulcrum is the distance is D, R, or X, since we're, like, that's what we're trying to find. And then the middle of the fulcrum. So that, like, just gives you an idea, like, how to take the equation and put it to, like, a real-life situation, basically. So, yeah. How it works. The teeter-totter is a pulley, which means that it spins on its axle, not with its axle. This is how the teeter-totter moves. The pulley is located on the fulcrum. Any questions? What do you use for a site? That's coming up. <laughs> 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 okay. Site? Someone that doesn't know what AKA stands for. It's you need to find that. Uh, also, known, also as. known as. Okay. Citation and thank yous. To get help on the equation, there's the website. Um, we also would like to thank Mr. Snyder and Mrs. Snyder, Mrs. Keller, the juniors and the seniors for helping us get, getting us data. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everyone. Can I keep this? Stay right there. What's next? Questions. Yeah. questions. More questions. <laughs> questions, questions, questions. You should have lots. Did, I kind of missed it. Did you talk about levers in there at all? Levers? We didn't no, have levers. Yeah, there was a pulley. It's a pulley, not a lever. Yeah, I did that wrong. <laughs> Yeah. Well, Emily, well, you make me feel unsmart. Do you guys have to do that? Why and how it works? Yeah, well, like, we explain the pulley, but. Uh oh. Anyway. But, like, we explain how the pulley works, but we got, like, that wrong, so it was. Well, like, basically, okay, so I can't really, I don't really dry. have anything to, dry it? yeah, I'll Use your it. fingers. Okay, so, basically, okay, so there's the pole right here that, like, supports the teeter-totter, and, you know, this is your board for your teeter-totter, and basically it has two things, like, it has, like, four bolts or screws or something that, like, and then they have, like, a little, like, thing in it, like, in, it, like, uh, I don't know, it, like, pivots, and so it makes it, like, teeter-totter, and it goes back and forth, basically, and so that's kind of where I got the idea of it, like, being more of a pulley than a thing because it like because I was thinking this would be like an axle but it doesn't move so that's how it would be a pulley but that was wrong. That's actually good logic. Yeah. It is. Because that center part doesn't move and in a wheel and axle does the center part move or not? No. Well yeah. 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 And in a pulley the center part doesn't. Doesn't. So that's That's actually good logic. Next. Don't make me do it all. She has a question. What's your question? Um, it's actually just a comment. I really liked how you opened your presentation 
by involving the audience. You said, imagine that you're sitting on a teeter-totter and you really brought everyone in that way. That's really good presentation skills, I think. I know that's not related to the science or math, but it's very important when you're sharing with the class. So, good job. Mm -hmm. And like Mr. Schneider said at the beginning, you know, like when we went outside the first time, he kind of like said, you know, you kind of have to sit on it and get the feel of it and like, he used the example of a swing, you know, you've got to get the effect that you feel when you're going swaying, you know, so, like, that's kind of where I got that from. I like it. Thank you. Heather, yes is the original. It's um, in Edmodo and it's, it's version oh, 2. Oh, I have the original. I wasn't, I just Sorry. wasn't sure and I wanted to make sure I was looking at the right rubric. It's version 2, correct? Yeah. And it says version 22, because it's the second time I uploaded it, and it always puts a 2 on the back end of it. So it should say version 22. Sorry. Oh, so version 22 is in Edmodo? Yes. Perfect. I don't know exactly Thank which you. thing I added it to. Um, oh, I'll find it. Did I see numbers up here that I don't like? Yes. What are they? Inches. Yeah. yeah. So that's easy, an easy fix, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And... Can you show me the teeter-totter diagram in six? Yeah. And let me, Do you want me to bring it show up Mrs. Like Keller what I'm looking at. Did you guys follow all that? No. Nope. So how do we when, make them? When they were talking about this slide, okay? They were talking about this slide. And and she talked about FE and DE and fulcrum and FR and DR and, and give all the words and stuff. Did you follow all that? No. What should they have done to make you, to help you follow that? They did explain though. She came up here and she pointed and she showed you right where it was. I followed. I know exactly what she was talking about. She did it okay. She didn't do anything wrong up there. Bigger font. Just kidding. I don't know. How much information is right here in this one slide? A lot. How many of these words can you read from back over there? So how do you fix this? Put them on two different slides. Yeah, I would have said like five. Okay. Whoa. Put all the parts on different slides, make it big. You can use the same picture, but then put the words and the arrows and all that stuff bigger so that it's really easy to see. Where's the DE? Put a stupid blue line over there or something. Where's the, the FE? I get what you Point. Show line. Use colors. If you go to my website and you look up levers, you're going to find levers that have colors. Every little part is a different color. And when I use the, the letters, the FR and the DR and all that stuff, they're the same color as the picture. Because it helps. Everybody's visual, right? Yeah. Everybody likes to see things. Brent? No. So, like, what was the total length of the board? How did the length of the So, um... Does length matter? Smart pocket. Yes. Oh, nice sketch. Maybe. Oh, so, the length right there. The length of the tier top yeah. and the width. The length was 10 feet, which is... It's on the board. Brent? The length is... Oh, and he had a second part of the question. What was your second part? Why does a length like length affect it? Yes, it will, because like it depends, like it affects like where they sit. You know, like you could like expand it more, so like they could sit farther back or closer. You know, so. And Do you agree with them? Do you think they're right? Do you think they're wrong? You actually took a video of Camille and I did that. Yeah. Sorry. Camille? There's a problem on the board. How long is that lever? Mm -hmm. The problem on the board has one kid sitting two mm -hmm. meters away and the other kid is X. And you have to calculate that. And it calculates out to one meter. So the board is three meters long? Mm -hmm. Is it? No. Have you ever seen a teeter totter that was longer on one side than it was on the other? No. So how long is the board? Because they can be also the size of 
Yeah. But how long? Is What's four the meters? minimum length of that board? Four two meters. Yeah, four meters. Thank you, Brecky. The minimum length of that board is four meters. Could that board be six meters? Yeah. Could yeah. it be five meters? Yeah. Could it be eleven meters? Yeah. Would they still sit in the same place? Yeah. So do they sit somewhere based on the length of the board? Or do they sit somewhere based on each other? They sit somewhere based on each other. And on um, both. Is the yeah. length of the board in the formula? No. no. Is the distance from the end of the board on the formula? Yes. We've got distances in the formula. What are the distances from? Where do you start measuring? From the middle. What's the middle thing called? Fulcrum. From the fulcrum to the? Where the person is sitting. And where is the person sitting? The point. Yes, that the point. What's that called? Uh, the initials are on the board over your shoulder. I was talking to the seniors about that earlier. What's, what's that C-O-M stand for? Center of mass. There you go. Yeah. Yes. So it doesn't matter how big you are. As far as physics is concerned, your mass is a little teeny tiny pinpoint pushing down somewhere, probably within the framework of your body. As most of you are sitting, your center of mass is probably somewhere underneath your body. But if you lean way forwards, your center of mass could be in the middle of your rib cage instead of underneath your body. If you lean way back, your center of mass could be back here somewhere instead of underneath your body. Which is why there's a swing up there. But we have somebody coming up very soon to talk about swings, right? Um, okay. Did you guys have a swing? <laughs> Just All right. I said calm. I said calm. It says C-O-M, it does. Center of mass. Who's up? We have a half hour class left. Do I want to go? Do you want me to go? Just uh, no, I kind of don't. There's another group besides you, right? Yeah. There's two other groups. I kind of like to have one of those other groups go. You want to swing, right? There's swings. Why can't Emily go? Like, okay, we need a hard drive, though. I tried to pass one out a long time ago, and nobody would take it. Every presentation, do you find more things you need to fix? Is that the deal, Emily? No, no, I'm trying to finish this rubric. Oh. Do we have rubrics done? Because we have to stop early and talk about rubrics, because you're going to need about 15 minutes to finish those up. That's why we only have time for one more. Emily, are you guys ready? Yes, second semester. Wait, let me finish my first. Exploded when we told when we were supposed to explode it. Ooh. Mr. Schneider, are these the practice presentations? No, these are presentations. These are the final presentations. Yep. And they might need to be modified, and they might be talking to me during study hall sometime. Doing them over. Okay. No, this isn't your test and evaluate. Aren't we all here? Yeah, but I haven't been filling that out because I thought that was like the final thing. Oh, no, that's it. We're all here. This is as good as we can do today. So we fill out the whole thing? Uh oh. Oh, you told me last time to not fill out the whole thing. But last time we were in little small groups talking about stuff, right? Or are you talking about last class? Yeah, last class. Oh, I, didn't, I misunderstood you then. That was my fault. So, so I have to fill out the whole thing? Yes. But we need to go do a presentation first. Do you want us to go first? Yes. I do. Let's just go. Why? Okay. Yes. You don't have to sweat about it if it's over. I don't know how you, like, do this um, hard drive thing, so we'll see how this Treat it like your nose and figure it out.
No, Mr. Schneider is driving one of our bosses across the state. Because she flew in from Ohio. Can you put this on a hard drive? Oh, wait, she's in your boss. Because she's Dr. Shelley and she's all that. We gotta drive her around. Kind of like Miss Daisy sometimes. Who's Miss Susie? You don't know I'm driving Miss Daisy? No. It's a movie. How do you use this thing? I'm going to do it. You can click on that. Yeah. And then there's all the files. And if you click on date modified, right at the top. Right here. Or the word date modified. How do you use this? Do you just, do you just hold it? It follows you. Hold this right there? No, don't. Right. Don't, 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 don't press it. Wow! Right, Over here! Right, 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 right. Ha! It's like a dog. You just don't, don't, we don't yep. control it like that. Yeah. You just hold it up. That's what yeah. you speak into. Okay. Yes. The little holes in the top? Nope. Yep. Oh, nope. Yep. That's the microphone part. Hmm, that's cool. Okay, can we do like our, our this thing first? I don't care what you do first. It's your presentation, you do it. Like just go on the other side. You just like point it and then you want to talk. Hey there, guys. So, let me start. Can I, like... Oh, hold this in there. Okay. Just speaking to me like this. Okay, um... Can I go? Yeah. Okay, um... So, this is our diagram of our swings. And we have the long, sw the long chain. Because we had a long chain and a short chain. And so, the long chain looks like that. And then the measurements are 6 feet 27 inches, which we converted to 2.5146 meters. And then across the top is 11 feet 8 inches, which we converted to 3.556 meters. And it's the same on both sides because it's like the same. It's the same swing set, but it's like this chain is longer, this chain is shorter. So, the short one is, like, we, like, you know, like, push it over the top, and then it, the chain was shorter. Okay. <laughs> um, so, we had the swings, if you didn't know. And, okay, you can go. Hi. What type of simple machine is a swing set? A swing set is called a lever. A lever is a simple machine consisting of a bar that rotates from a fixed point. Levers affect the effort of or force needed to do a certain amount of work. This type of simple machine is mostly used to lift heavy objects. Okay, um, for the questions, it said, describe the differences in periodicity between the taller and shorter swings. Um, the shorter swings have a shorter distance in between, like, when they go to front, back, and then front again, it's shorter. And then the longer swings move slower but go a longer distance. And then what is the percentage increase in the speed of the shorter swing compared to the taller one? And what other information might you need to figure this out? We didn't have a percentage increase because the rate for both of them was the same. So with the information we needed was the speeds of both the shorter and the longer swings to figure out. Um, the percentage increase from like the shorter swing to the longer swing, but there wasn't any because it was the same. Uh, research, you have to have your feet on the ground to start out, which it, like makes it a lot easier to get going. And your body weight pulls the swing like uh, down and stuff. That and, like includes gravity also. You have to pump your legs to get more momentum. To like help you like go back and forth faster. Um, the swing can move front and back or side to side. Uh, if there's a shorter chain, you can't take off as fast as a long chain. With the shorter chain, it is harder to get more air than it would be with a longer chair. Chain. 
Um, for safety, you don't want to like lean back or forward, or you don't want to lean forward or back too far because <laughs> you might fall off. Um, you like want to hang on to the chains because it just gives you more stability. You don't want to go too high because you could um, like lose balance and like fall forward or something. And you don't want to let your feet drag on the ground because it stops you from going more like a higher speed. Our experiment. We went outside to the swing set and made one short swing and one long swing. Um, we timed how many seconds it took to go to the front, the back, the back, and then the front again using my phone with the seconds and stuff. Then we videoed the short swing and the long swing for two minutes. Eventually the swings got out of rhythm. We realized the short swing goes a shorter distance but goes faster. And the long one, the longer swing goes a longer distance, but goes a lot slower. Um, for our resources, like our research we got from that website. And then we used our phones to time it and to video. Um, we used Edmodo for like the math. And then the measurements on our diagram came from the juniors and the seniors. So, any questions? Megan. Okay. So, like, I know out on the blacktop with the bigger swings, if you swing, like, fast enough and you go high enough, it kind of bounces. Mm -hmm. like, why does that I think it's because like you're going so high that the, all the weight isn't at one place because you're just moving, and then the swing set will like lift off the ground. Yeah, it's shifting more. Yeah, weight it's longer. your weight is shifting from like different areas, so it, the swing just comes off of the ground. It's like more weight on one side than the other, so it's like if you're going like forward and swing, you get to a certain point, you grab these first pulling you back, and mm -hmm. you head back, and you go back. Yep. Brock. Uh, it's on his phone. We didn't put it on the slide. We didn't. Yeah, just we. Uh... That's this video. Have video here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've been giving everybody zeros because they didn't have videos. <laughs> yeah, we're we making a video. We yeah. yeah, well, we can put his video on. It's okay. It's not just these. You're making a video right now. Yeah. We're going to fix our uh, rubrics like, later. <laughs> Let's finish these guys. Okay. <laughs> Do we have more questions for these guys? I'm not hearing a lot of questions, which means this is the best one. Yes. Not the best. Yeah. Not the best. Means he's up there. It's your job to punch holes we in what they did. Had if our, they didn't do something, point it out. We had our resources like on our research page, and so we did make it into a new slide at the end. But, yeah. So, what websites did you use? We used that one for most yeah, everything. And then we used, like, um, <laughs> our phones for, like, like research and, and, like, videos and stuff, so. Is it is it on your slide? You guys can watch it when they present next time if you want to see it because we let them have our video because we both had the swings and it's the same thing they get out of rhythm once they keep going so did you hear about center of mass in this no. presentation no, I didn't did you hear about creating torque 
which causes the forward motion because the center of mass is moved to the back side of the swing instead of straight up and down. Did you hear about moving your body forwards, thereby moving your center of mass forwards, creating torque? Well, we talked about moving. Motion on the swing? We talked about moving our body forward and our yes, body back. Yes, they did, didn't they? They did about. 50%. They did all of the normal people stuff for that. They didn't do a whole lot of the Joe Science Egghead stuff about the moving the swing. Correct? Is that required in order to understand how why the swing moves? No. Is that required in order to move the swing and operate it? No. Attention teachers, please dismiss no, the middle not. school football players to go change. All middle school football players, you just go directly and change, and then you'll be leading on the bus. We're doing JV. Okay. Yeah, it's a JV game. And is this required in order to explain and understand how it works? No. Because understanding how to work it and understanding how it works is different. We just like simplified it. You simplified it. Did they go too far? It's like dumb people. Is it possible for you to understand this stuff? No. Somebody tell me what torque is. It's like uh, 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 <laughs> power. It's a force. Oh well, yeah, it's a force. Where your body's the direction of the force. Like. I, I know what it is. It's that's like, that's even closer than a force. It's a type of yeah. so It's a force applied where and how? In the direction. What direction? Forward or back? Straight. Yeah. Circular. Around something. Yep. What's a torque wrench? Yeah, it, it's got the socket, and then you push down here, and then it clicks when it gets to a certain amount of pressure, because that that twist that's torque. So that's what happens here with your seat pushing against the seat of the swing, and when you lean forwards, it torques that seat, and your center of mass moves. And gravity pulls down on this side and not on that side, and that pushes it that way. Okay? Yes, sir, good job. Oh, I know I did. Now, your rubrics contain everything they need to know so that they can fix their presentations and make them even better. Right? Now, wait a second. Every time you gave somebody a zero for something, you slid over to the right, and you wrote on it, and you typey, typey, typey what, what they did wrong, right? Do you think you guys, do you think um, we missed anything? Yes. What? Um, the center. I think you missed the whole center of mass thing, and, and moving your mass causes the force to be pushed on the swing in a different direction. And that's why your butt stays in the same place on the swing, yes, you know but your, you your chest moving backwards pushes this way, your chest moving forwards pushes this way. Because it moves your center of mass, and that affects how gravity pulls on your center of mass. So should we add that in our I would. Now, how much of that is way too hard for you to understand? Um, Apply that picture... Apply what you know about your body and making a swing work. Aren't you moving the center of your mass backwards when you lean back and when you throw your legs out? How does that help move your mass backwards when you throw your legs out? Because more like force is going. You guys are all sitting in a chair, right? Sit in a chair, leave your feet underneath your butt. Lean back. Did your center of mass move a whole lot? Can you feel the weight shift on your butt? Yeah. Throw your feet out. Stick your feet way out. Get them up as high as your knees. Does that change where the force is on your butt? That changes it, doesn't it? So when you take your feet and you move them from hanging down below you on the swing to picking them up so that they're even with you, that pushes your weight even more backwards, doesn't it? You know how I can prove that? I can get a kid to sit on the lab table over here. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> I'm going to take this so Heather can see. 
I need a kid to sit right here. I got this. I might break it. Feet this way, so you're gonna want to move your your body away just a little bit. His right there. Aren't that long. Right. Oh, On the edge. On the edge. Just, just so you stay. Can you lean forward at all? You might want to back up an inch or two. There you go. Now lean backwards. How far can you lean backwards? Don't move your feet. Oh, he fell. Lean, not fall. Now look what he's doing with his feet. If I pull your feet back in here, you can't go that far, can you? Now when you throw your feet out, how far back can you lean without falling? Is she in a car? <laughs> hey, Ms. Schneider. Mr. Schneider's in a car Hi. with Dr. Shelley. He's back. Yes. Where's Dr. So Shelley at? Where, where's his center of mass? Lean back and keep your feet here again. Keep him in. Keep him in. Where's his center of mass? Probably about here by his belly button, bottom of his ribs. Now stick your feet out. Now stick your feet out. Now lay back as far as you can without falling down. Now where's his center of mass? It moved way back here by the letters on his shirt, didn't it? So what does picking your feet up do? That's a belly workout, isn't it? It is. I need to get rid of that. Why does it help to pick up your feet? It helps to move your center of mass backwards, away from your bottom. Did my pictures make sense now? Yeah. yeah. Do you understand it? No. Kind of? You move your center of mass, it changes the way gravity pulls on you. I know you've been dying to see my awesome artwork. You can see it a little bit from the side. Yeah, it's... Very awesome. Yeah. I label stuff. That's how people know what I'm drawing. So... We've had all of our presentations except for two. two. And who's with Emily? That one. Okay. And you're with Jesse. I'll be just Yeah. Jesse just And he thinks he can go to cross country meets and get out of this, but we're waiting for him. Yeah, I think he already thinks he already did mine. Okay. So, rubrics do no good if you keep them. Therefore, you have a rubric for every group that's gone so far, right? I lost my rubric for... Hang on one second. You can't lose rubrics. I know. I don't know where it went. Go to Excel. Go to File, Open. Go to Recent. It's about got to be there. Unless you typed over. Did you change the file name every time we had a different group? You did a file save as, like I told you? Okay. Is she, like, driving? Chill. Like, first Chill. Name yes. Name. Mary is probably driving with Dr. Shelley. Hi. No, it's not 3 o'clock yet. She's driving to get Dr. Shelley. How many people are driving? Like, she's on, like, four or something. Yeah. Um, she's on her phone, and she's probably got it, like, laying on the console beside her or on her leg or something. So how many people? Four? Whoa, she's so like, Do I have to turn this away from you so you can't see that anymore? Quit it. She's laughing, so we're all good. Yeah. I think we've had four. Maybe five. We had two the first day. One group of guys, one group of girls, right? Yeah. Okay, and today we had two more groups? Hey, I don't have four. So we had four? I don't have Freshman, seven minutes, eight minutes, chill, okay? Next, you need to put your name at the bottom of every rubric. Down at the bottom it says sheet one, right? If you double click on sheet one, does it get highlighted? And then you can change it and you can put your name on there. For all of your rubrics, you need to do that. And that way when that person opens the rubric, and it says, I got a five for this, I got a zero for that. They know exactly who told them that. So they can go ask you questions about it. Well, they forgot. Don't forgot. I forgot. Next. <laughs> well, I said that. Yeah, you said, what if I forgot? Yeah, what if I, I forgot? said, don't forgot. <laughs> Next. What if you forget? Don't. Freshman. Next. 
you need to send the rubric to the person that did the work. Yes, you need to figure out what your email is. Wait a second. We don't have time for you to be loud. Shh. These things are not for making you feel bad. That's not what these are for. These things are not for hacking on each other and knocking each other down and telling each other how stupid we are. These things are for learning. Nobody does everything right. Very few people do everything right the first time they try it. Almost nobody does that. Has everything I've tried to explain to you gone perfectly well the first time I tried to explain it? Have I tried a different way? Yes. Is that not a fail and a start over and a modify? Okay. Can I go brush In a second. That's a fail and a modify. You have to get used to failing. You have to get used to modifying. You're going to do it a billion times before you get old. Basketball players? Really good basketball players shoot what percentage? 10. Maybe 40. Baseball players. Really good batting averages? 10. Yeah, over 333. 333 would be a really awesome batting average. How many hits do you get out of 10? If you're batting 333? That's good. Three. How many fails? Seven. Seven. Three successes. It should not freak you out that you're getting feedback that says, hey, you didn't do this part right. You didn't do this part right. You didn't do this part right. It's not that big a deal. That doesn't mean you should be saying, oh, crap, I don't even have to try because everybody's going to tell me what I do wrong and then I can do it over again. That's not what we're after either. We want you to learn stuff. We want you to get better. We want you to get a lot better at finding things on the Internet. We want you to get a lot better at expressing your ideas and getting your thoughts transferred over into somebody else's brain. That's what this is all about. Your rubrics in the next seven minutes have to be sent to the people that have presented. People that have presented, your job is to take all of those rubrics, open them up, look at the bottom, make sure the person that sent it to you has their name at the bottom. Here's the deal. And I don't have what I need to demonstrate this, so follow me with this, will you? Pretend this is a spreadsheet. There's going to be a little tab right here, right? What if I shrink this and I make it take up half my screen and I open a different one over here? Is there going to be a little tab over here? Yeah. If I grab this tab and click and hold and drag it over here next to this tab and let go, do I have two tabs in one window? That's your job. Grab all of your feedback from all of the other kids and put it all into one window and then save this bugger. And when you're done, I should have one of these that says your name in the top. It has all of your feedback on all of these sheets, and I should have 17 sheets in the bottom. With 18 kids, you have 17 other kids in the class. 16 now, as of today. So you should have 16 tabs on the bottom when you're done. And if you don't, chase them down, find out why. Do that in the next seven minutes. Miss Keller, anything you want to get to these kids before I let them go and, and tell them to get to work? No, I am good. I, I, can, work. I can tell you right now that we're going to need some practice and some grading and modifying on converting. Okay. From SAE to metric. Because they don't even know what SAE is. Standard American something. Oh, you got two thirds of it. Equipment. Nope. Nice try. Thanks for playing. Hey, I got two thirds right. You did. Elephant. Nope. Sixty-six <laughs> percent. Yeah. We'll we'll put that in the grade book for you. <laughs> oh, see, that's different. No, no, no. You're down to about four minutes, maybe five. Get your rubrics, get them sent to the person that presented. Eric 
Okay, what do you want?